Hello folks, Mike and Mopar Pro. Uh, I got an engine suspended in midair, doing some work on this baby. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a lot of cool stuff about these early Flathead 6 engines. <clears throat> so, just a little, little rundown. Um, here is your timing cover. Uh, fan which cools off the uh, radiator. Uh, there's the water pump which sits behind. This is your bypass. Uh, water flows through here through the thermostat and eventually when the thermostat opens inside here it travels. It travels in the beginning first here and then it circulates through the engine as it warms up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is your intake manifold. It's where the air comes in. This is your exhaust manifold. And this is a later engine. You could see how it dumps straight. If it was a, a 49 and below engine, for the most part, it would dump after cylinder six and it would come off on a curve. Uh, this is the fuel pump right here. It was inside the engine block right over there. This was the tired looking fuel pump. Uh, this is a 54 style because it has no glass bowl. Uh, because the, the, the uh, later engines, they can't accept the glass bowl. There's no room it hits the chassis. What we're doing is we're taking this engine apart and we're uh, oh, it's, it's, it's sliding on the chain. Um, we're taking this engine apart because uh, I need the flywheel out of it and a bunch of other little things. And that's really it. And this, you can see the fuel pump runs right up through uh, to the carburetor right there. And that's pretty much how these engines look suspended in the air. Go on this side. This is what's left. This is the motor mount. This is what's left of the motor mount. It sits on this horseshoe metal piece when it's in the car. And uh, this was a, this is a, let's see what, I can't really see. P20, so that's like 5051 Plymouth, that's what this is. Uh, you could see the block was casted in the night shift at 2 o'clock in the morning. That was just uh, production uh, you know, it's basically so they knew if they had a problem in the factory with the casting of the blocks, so it gave them an idea. I don't think they had ever any problems. You could see this engine was made on 925 of 1950. Very cool. And this is what a fly Flathead 6 uh, Plymouth engine looks like. Here's all the freeze plugs inside the motor. These are the oil lines which run from the engine block up to the oil filter housing. There's the, <clears throat> there's the flywheel inside. There's the clutch adjustment rod. And uh, that's the story. Uh, this is an engine we're gonna be rebuilding. Distributor is right here. And uh, this is a running engine, so just wanted to show you guys how they look before disassembly. And uh, that's really it. If you guys need parts for your vintage Flathead 6 engine, give me a call or go to MoparPro.com. Thank you.